Gray whales have the longest migration of any mammal on Earth, traveling a total of 12,000 miles from Alaska down to Baja and back again. Hey everyone, my name is Maddie and I'm a naturalist here at the Monterey Bay Aquarium. Welcome to our biggest and best exhibit, the Monterey Bay where we get to see tons of rich, biodiverse wildlife every single day, including one of my personal favorites, the gray whale. Gray whales are common visitors to Monterey Bay. We typically see gray whales in the Monterey Bay around December and January coming down from Arctic climates like the Bering Sea and Alaska. They are a type of baleen whale that can grow upwards of 50 feet long. Gray whales are bottom feeders, which means they dive down to the ocean seafloor, straining out water and mud to extract small shrimp-like creatures called amphipods. Because gray whales are eating so many yummy amphipods up in the Arctic climates, they don't have to eat on their way down to Baja, California. They rely on their blubber and all of that stored up energy for their 12,000 mile journey. You may be asking yourself, why gray whales travel such a long way? Well, Baja is home to quiet, peaceful, protected, and warm lagoons. So these gray whales can mate and have calves that don't have blubber. These calves need those warm lagoons to survive and gain a layer of blubber to sustain them on their migration north. So the calves will drink 50 gallons of milk and gain as much as 70 pounds every single day. Mega props to those moms. <laughs> On their journey back up from Baja to Arctic feeding grounds, we typically see gray whales around April and May because they like to tuck themselves in kelp forests, like the kelp forest right off our back deck, to hide from their predator, the orca. And these moms will protect their calves at all cost, sometimes putting them on their back or even fighting off an orca if they need to. Another challenge these gray whales are presented with is plastic. The plastic we use is ending up in the waters these gray whales rely on for their food. Because they're bottom feeders, they can accidentally ingest that marine debris, which has no nutritional value and can be harmful. Plastics don't truly biodegrade. They break down into something called microplastics, which move throughout the entire food web. While it's important we each do our part, like using reusable water bottles and grocery bags, the companies who produce single-use and harmful plastic should be responsible for making less. We can be ocean champions and urge our leaders to turn off the flow of plastic at the tap to protect us, our ocean, and the animals that live in it. Thank you so much for joining us on our big and beautiful back deck for today's Word of the Bay, all about gray whales and migration. If you wanna keep learning more, you can head to the link in our video description and we'll see you for the next Word of the Bay.